Hello everyone. In the previous videos, we have created the model and view for the item activity. Now we are going to create the controller or the recycler view adapter. But before we start creating the controller, let's make one change here. For the height, I'm going to change it from match parent to wrap content. So in this case, the space of the row will depend on the space of the items inside. Now let's start with the items adapter or the controller. New Kotlin file, let's call it item adapter, change this one into class. Okay, now this class should extend from something called recycler view dot adapter as we have speaked in the previous videos and here give it view holder and add the brackets of the constructor. Then put a pointer here, alt enter, implement member and select all these functions and click OK. Next step, you should add two variables, one for the context and it is of the class context and another variable for list and should be array list and this array list should pass the item class as parameter so I'm going to select this item class as parameter now the next step create the view holder as you remember the view holder is a class which define the tools which will be repeated in the recycler view. So here I'm going to create a class. Let's call this class as item holder and should extend the view, the view holder. Then pass the item view as parameter here. So define the variable item view and should be of the data type view and also yeah I forget the bracket here yes and also you should add the item view here also then to start using the tools so let's create a function called bind or any name no problem and pass three parameters for this function the first one will be n a string for the meal name okay and the second one will be P as price or as uh, sorry as double for the price the third one will be U as string for the voto URL now very simple to put the n inside the text view just write item view the variable defined here dot item name which is the text view drawn here on the item row okay so dot text equal n and what about the price for the price the same thing item view dot item price dot text equal p but because p is double, so you should convert it to string. The last thing is the voto, but the voto will be called from the web server. So you should use the Picasso library, which has been used previously. So Picasso dot with, so you need here the context. So you can use item view dot context, then dot load here. What about the load? The load is the URL of the voto. Let's try this one. Here is the URL of the website. What about if I call some voto from here? Okay, as you remember, I have copied a lot of images inside this path. C164 www sales web, and here is folder called images with a lot of images. So what about if I need, for example, uh, to call this voto, for example, or this one, okay? All what I need is to take the name, 
of this photo and put it after the folder images slash the name of the bot voto.jbg as you see here you can get this photo this is the ip address of the website and this is the folder and this is the voto name i need to copy this one without the photo name because the photo name will be returned from the database using the volley so i will take this as copy and here i'm going to put it inside double quotation and i will write plus u so u is the name of the voto which will be retrieved from the server or from the database and it will be concatenated with this url then into which is the name of the view that will be used to show this image so i'm going to write item view dot item voto so it is ready now next step what about the function get item count this function is used to return the list of data so it is list dot size which is the size of the array list of type items what about the unbind the unbind as we have talked previously is used to show the data so all what you need is to use the parameter holder which is defined here and type casting it to item holder then use the function find and here you should pass the parameter from the array list show sure, you should say something like list and position dot name this is the for the first parameter the same thing with the other parameter list position dot price and the last one list position dot voto so the name price and voto all these parameters will be retrieved from the array list and they will pass to the n p and u which will be passed again to the two text view and image view the last thing is the on create which will be used to connect between the recycler view and the item row so you should say something like var v of data type view which is equal to layout inflator dot from context dot inflate r dot layout dot item row then it needs the parent which is here by default is from view group because the recycler view is a view group then false for attachment last thing is return okay what the return will be the return will be the same uh, item holder with v which means this is the returned value which is the item holder which contain two text view and image view and it will take the layout from the variable v which is connected with the item row so in this case i have created the controller or the item adapter in the next video i'm going to put this item adapter inside the item activity see you next video